Hello guys, welcome back to with another video. Today we're going to be looking into another build in a new season 4. Welcome to season 4 everybody. Uh, please leave a like, share, comment, and subscribe. If you like the video, test out the build. Let me know how it goes. Comments, any questions you have. Uh, try to answer them as quickly as I can. Please leave me a like, share, comment, subscribe guys. I'm trying to reach that 500. Uh, next milestone will be a thousand subscribers. Uh, much appreciated guys um, for all the love. So let's get into it. Um, I'm gonna make a quick video today. Is gonna be looking into uh, Crescent Slash with Warrior Shadow. Warrior Shadow is a brand new uh, skill for season uh, rune skill rune for uh, season four. Uh, sorry, not skill rune rune link for season four. Uh, it is a uh, attack shadow strike melee. You must have all tags in order to use the rune. Uh, but you cannot use trigger link rune, so that means you don't need as necessary a need another uh, link rune uh, Another skill that you want to put in there uh, So my best option right now uh, for this build would be to have shock apply with uh, electric uh, area uh, this way uh, Electric area will shock um, lots more people more more monsters. Um, so instead of harmony Which give a lot more damage. I can then uh, go ahead and put in more area effect uh, which then would make this a bigger range uh, so that you can use the purpose of shock uh, it has the highest shock uh, value in the game at 60% um, rate shock chance so that's a lot okay so then this will increase the size um, another way I want to get that I can just remove the concentrate air damage uh, then I can just put in harmony right here just give it a little bit more damage so this can cover about 800 size at area effect um, so that's uh, something to look into um, okay zodiac uh, let's take a look at zodiac that's the biggest change right now um, so as you can see uh, let's go over the uh, zodiac and then we're gonna go to the skills okay so real quick zodiac uh, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna reset zodiac okay so we're gonna take us one step at a time so you guys can see so the first thing we want to do is we want to do attack if we're using attack if you are using spells uh, you want to do the uh, spells which is right here okay so attack you want all of this okay applied and then the next one you want to do is you want to do if you're if you are uh, visco or element um, that's what you want to do uh, right now I am using this as a uh, visco uh, I have not turned it to elemental yet so um, I will turn this to elemental by doing convert fire okay so now this has become a fire skill all right it is no longer physical okay uh, don't get confused with melee damage and fire damage okay melee damage will increase the skill damage overall but it still be fire okay because due to the fact this is convert fire all right so now let's take a look so we have uh, attack damage amp three percent on attack okay weapon range uh, weapon equip range good Next one, we want to do elemental fire, right there. That's it. Apply. You get five percent amp right for fire right there. If you're lightning, you go lightning. If you're ice, you go ice. Okay. Next one is the melee damage on jewels. So that's three. You want to take young boy, adorable young boy, into diamond, diamond body. Okay. And then you want to do high hand harvest, okay? Apply. There's that. Then you unlock this. Now this part you want to do damage dodge, and then you want to do HP, and then you want to take the damage here. So it does another twenty percent damage for status effect. Wound is a status effect for fire, okay? You want to go HP, then you want to do the damage amplification here. Add it five percent here, and then you apply. Okay, you unlock specialized. Now, uh, 
couple ways you can do this. The best way would be brilliance. Right? There's that. You want to take powerful hit to forget the strict strike amp. Uh, overpower is great. Convert mana, great. You don't have to worry about mana. And then the next one you want to take is you want to take this. If you want to play quick critical damage, that's what you want to do. Uh, if you don't want to play critical damage, you want to do the um, double chance, you can do that as well. But to me, right, this would decrease. Uh, so for all the non crit build, 30% uh, damage amp is great. Okay, but then you get more resource cost. Don't worry about that. Okay, we don't need to worry about that. Okay, and then we will apply five there. And then now we're going to look into. Um, this one okay breath will give you monkey and arm and sweep lots of weapon range reason why when we want lots of weapon range is so that we can attack from far away so we're gonna apply and then now we're gonna go to five back again so we're gonna take um, the uh, the elemental barrier right here um, if you don't want the elemental mirror, <coughs> then you want more damage. You will go more attack speed, <coughs> but then you will get um, bearer on hit. You that's what what you want. You want this right here. Excuse me. You want to take HP on hit. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. This mist has now become all traps, which is useless for us now. We're gonna talk about all the um, elemental damage. Another way is we can do is um, we can get the burn rate, but then it takes five points just to get the critical rate, fifteen percent. Uh, if you're low and crit, then yeah, but if it's not necessary if you're a crit crap um, so the next one we we'll take is this sharpness into dimensions to get 15% right here okay that's that's it that's the one uh, you can also do um, So instead of doing that, right, you waste, uh, you basically got up to here, okay, and then now you unlock this, you want powerful harmony, you want strong will, and then you want to do, not do will, two hand. Right here on scent, this give you damage amp, okay. And then you want to go here. This also give you lots of crit rate, right, and damage amp right here on this two line for two hand. And then you want to do this for elemental uh, amp here. Strike all the way to weapon range here, and apply. And then the next one is going to be. Uh, this one So now this can proc lightning uh, As well, so give another status um, If you don't want that one you can then go on this side and you will take Elemental reflect take and decrease meaning that all the maps that you do now or with uh, Elemental uh, damage that reflects back to you. You won't die as fast um, Because you take zero damage from now on uh, the next one will be here for decay. You want to take the the top part for for damage. Um, if you don't want to take the top part and you want more crit rate, you would then take this right here. Okay, to take this and this. Okay, you apply that. 
and then the next one would be uh, so the next one would be for here for fire uh, penetration okay all right so you got two points left now there's some places you want to play with here um, you can also do uh, deep breath here for school skill enhanced attack uh, so this will increase all the enhanced rune effect of your skill this specified just attack uh, rune effect um, and you get a lot more damage that way uh, but this is just for everything else uh, you can also do more error effect here and error damage amp here um, you can also do piercing and other stuff here so that's just something to look into and play around with to me this is the best one right in here <coughs> and now we're gonna take a look at um, our skill alright so what I have is question slash uh, the awaken you want would be um, the um, the origin mode uh, origin will give you uh, uh, so if you're not cap on crit then you can go this but if you are crap cap on crit rate right, right um, so you see my crit rate is low I, I can I can try to cap that with just the, the awaken itself right uh, I would then do more damage so uh, it would take a look right um, the awaken skill the, then 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 the rarity will be stronger but if you are cap crit then you want to do origin origin give you the most damage and weapon range all right and let you attack two times as well yeah fix fix attack speed okay so fix attack speed meaning your uh it'll be two uh instead of lowering your your attack speed it will increase your attack speed way more okay um if you're cap on crit rate okay if you guys are going armor um or physical origin is still good uh if you lower if you lower an attack speed and you need more attack speed go shows but overall at late game you want origin at early game you want verity all right guys so that's that uh and then the main one is war shadow uh, i took the uh, damage uh, increase amplify which is much stronger um, and then fighting spirit, savagery, convert fire because I want to play fire, and then mana stone, and strike. Okay, strike lower the attack speed. You need the awakened origin to reduce some of that reduction. So instead of 15, I only get 7%. Okay, and then electro area, I went for area effect, lots of area effect, and then um, harmony, mana stone. Uh, I mana outburst is the new one, so I let me to use four times instead of um once and then uh elemental damage amplification here and then movement speed i have this role and penetration slash expand vision on penetration so that way um i can i can then um i can then get a uh, weapon weapon uh weapon range for my uh, skill and then movements uh movement speed here uh and armor here you must awaken this to verity to get the uh, awaken effect only all this will not work for you that would be for just minions um, and then here seal the main reason why I want seal the main uh, is because the zodiac uh, make me take more uh, elemental damage okay so there's that and then crit rate on seal always if you're not ca crit cap you need seal crit rate and then uh, tenacity uh, release element here for lots of elemental damage amp and then um, here you can go fighters wrath too but I like to take this so then both all overall skill does more damage um, still still condense element I turn it to source awaken so I can become a buff okay uh, illusion axe here uh, again convert fire for illusion axe with knockback dampen and then extract energy so I get some more damage error effect of course for um, bigger size all right and then confidence for a little bit more attack speed all right so there's that and then we're gonna check the attack speed of this skill 2.5 3% or 3 uh, 
0.03 okay due to the fact that I didn't put um, confidence there um, there's that now we're gonna take a look at the oh sorry one more thing uh, is this right there that's good and then this that's good right there okay and then there's that and then I will take a look at the gears uh, gears now you need jewels uh, season 4 you need jewels so that's that Uh, accessories can only have one jewel, so you don't have one star. It cannot be two star. It can have one star, one black. Okay. Belts and armors uh, and weapons only have one slot, and uh, the max is can go to is black. You cannot use star. Only accessories you get star. Okay. And charms. Okay. And then the crema. This is why you want to play lots of equip uh, weapon range, cause I watch the stick. Only unique Lacrima with two hand. Okay, and this is why I went fire is due to the fact this is Capri. I need Capri uh, blessing to be uh, 140 to use. Okay, uh, I went for Boreal Horizon so that if my energy stacks, it can attack other ones too. Um, so that's eight percent chance, better than nothing. And that's that. And then there's relics. Relics, I went for Septar with hit rate. And then I take more damage here as well. So that's why Elemental Domain is good for um, seal defense. So instead of area damage, I can take a lot of strength. Okay. There's that for attack speed, Leo, and then Capri for some burn dodge chance. Okay. And then we're going to go test it out. Oh, masteries. Simple. 9, 10, 10, level 50. 1. Alright, alchemy. That. Is this, this, is this, is this, and this. All potions. Alright, we're gonna go to training area. And we're gonna see this uh, warrior shadow in effect. So as you can see, um, what you want to do now is you want to equip um, electric area here. So that way, when you when you you have four times to proc, you see how big that is. So auto monster will get shocked effect right here, shocked, uh, increased damage taken by a lot, depends on the amount of shock. All right, and then um, what, and then you can just turn on your skill. So we're gonna test this at max level. Um, we're gonna turn on the skill. Seal is a crit, and then now we're gonna do shock here, and then we're gonna attack. And then war shadows will come out and do the same attack, and lacrima will will come up and do the same attack. So lacrima will um, then extend our range, so then we don't have to um, be as far. You can stand far away and can clear the whole map. Okay. Uh, another thing is you can use um, Fighter's Wrath, which increase your attack speed a little bit more. Um, we can check that out right now. So instead of, sorry, gotta let it cool down. Uh, so instead of using Release, right, the best way we can do is we can use um, Fighter's Wrath, and his Fighter's Wrath. Okay. With Fighter's Wrath. You can then, um, there's a skill that's on cooldown, okay. So with Fighter's Wrath, right, let's just take a look, Fighter's Wrath. So, we're gonna use Fighter's Wrath, and this is gonna give it more damage, because it increased um, melee damage, and weapon, and crush and slash is melee. So, and at the same time, if you lower an attack speed, it will increase more attack speed. And another thing is, if your warrior, your warrior, since the range is so high, uh, you need to be at a certain range, you can see the shadow comes out to do more. Um, so if, now we, we, we can check this out by, uh, by doing the, there, distance check. So at, 
700 around yeah 700 welcome back uh around 700 your shadows will come out anything further your shadow won't come out you guys can see you can see that the uh crescent slash is doing two times you can see the waves is two times now this is one time right and this is two times see right so we can start right here let this play out so you guys see how that works and then we'll take one here another one here another one there another one there you can see how big the area of the um, electric area is you get to use four times so you can cover the whole map so that every monster will get shock effect that way you get more damage um, I can then turn this on yet so I can take it more damage with fire stacks I get to six okay <coughs> Again, uh, for Warrior Shadow, if you are 700 range, you can you can then proc it, okay? Um, so let's check the, the DPS, okay? So that's 400, and that was 160, okay? So that's that. Alright guys, if you have any questions, please leave it in the comments. Uh, if I miss anything, please let me know. Uh, check out this build, and check out this Warrior Shadow. It's pretty cool and fun, alright? Have a good one.